my thoracic spine is all hunched, my shoulders are rounded out, and my low back is rounded out as well. So now what happens? Everything here tightens, shortens, right? And this is all due to a lot of sitting. And so now you're compressing and, and dehydrating the back line of the body. The fascia has lines, front lines, back lines. So that front line will get compressed. It'll get it'll be, get um, compressed and dehydrated. So it's kind of pulling you forward. And so now, unless you hydrate the system and stimulate those cells to create fluid and lengthen the system, you're gonna be kind of stuck like this. And when you try to come up, you it is gonna be a little bit painful because you're trying to fight all that stuff. Fascia is very uh, strong tensely. It's got the tensile strength of, I think, about 2,000 pounds per square inch, if my memory serves me correctly. So if you're trying to fight the pull of that fascia, that can create some discomfort, right? And then when you're all of a sudden trying to get your, your posture up like this, you're fighting everything that's not used to being in that position. So when you do the melt work, you'll see an immediate improvement. I've had people in their 90s with a head this forward that when they lay flat on the floor, they have to have two pillows under their head because it's so far off the floor and then do some melt work with them on a roller lay them back down on the floor and their head can actually touch the floor or at, at you know worst case scenario they only need one pillow but it's a massive improvement right so we need to get that head back up over the spine we need the spine to be up over the pelvis we want that nice curve in the low back. We want it to curve this way. We want that nice curve in the neck. We want it to curve this way. That's a lordosis. We want just a little bit of a kyphosis in the, the lumbar spine, which means it's rounded just a little bit this way. But we really want our lower ribs to come past the shoulder blades, which are the lower ribs are here, just below the shoulder blades. We actually want those ribs to come back past the shoulder blades slightly that's a good position for that whole rib cage. When it comes forward, the head comes forward because it's got to be over something that supports it, right? And when all that comes forward, it stresses the lumbar spine. So the point is, you've really got to be making sure that you're healing and repairing the fascial system. The melt method is the, the easiest, the simplest, the most effective way I know to do that without having to go to a myofascial release specialist and spend hours and hours and weeks and weeks having them work on you. But then in between, you're not able to do anything. So what are you gonna go once a week? Um, and then you need to be training the body to restore the power in the back of the hips, the stabilizing force in the front of the hips, and that's gonna get that body upright. That's gonna make that head come back and feel like, oh, I'm safe here all is well, okay? So, um